Hey what is up guys, my name is Austin and welcome back to the channel where today I am doing a tour of my 1995 Chevy Silverado. So my friend did a tour of his 2001 Chevy Silverado, so I thought I should do one of my 1995. So we're just going to go around the back, you know, he's got the ugly rims, stupid. You know, I thought that this was actually broken, but no, that's actually how it's supposed to be. It's got the Dura liner in it, and a tire that's not even to this truck in it. It's, I think, a size too big. But yeah, it's just like, the truck's in really good condition. It runs great, but it does have some slight issues. The tail bed is a little bit um, faded, but I mean, you barely notice it. And then there's a Jesus sticker. Awesome. Tail lights. You know, they had that uh, plastic black thing that, you know, goes over it. That, so you can only see, like, one line. It was stupid, so we took them off. Anyways. And to the other side over here, same thing. You can see it. 4x4. Four four. It's not like the ZR2 or anything like that. That colorful Colorado on it. It does have a slight camber issue, so that's why you can see this part of the wheel is just completely bald. So it does have a slight camber issue. It does only have one fuel tank. I think it gets around 12 or 13 miles to the gallon. Silverado. Over on this side, it's got the, this, I think it's side skirt, it's a little bent on that side. The other one's almost like half broken off. So on this side you get the other wheel. And on this side you got the front of the truck. It's pretty neato. It's a little bit dirty. The uh, hood is a little messed up. Now let's go inside. I'm just going on the passenger side for whatever reason. Anyways here's the dash. There are some big similarities when you go from the 2001 to the two, to the 1995, no, it's not the 2000. One thing that I do notice is that on the 2001 and on the newer models, that has a lot more stuff on the dash, but the outline is damn near exactly the same. This whole radio thing does not work because it's not wired up correctly. Oops, sorry about lighting. But this whole part does not work. So it does not turn on, and I don't know why down here but it's got the CD player down here so that you can have radio and all that stuff which does work I don't know why that's open and his AC does work and I'll show you guys in a second when I turn it on got this sick little cup holder which I don't remember if the early 2000s Chevy's had or not it is four wheel drive down here you've got the uh, was that the trailer brake I think which doesn't actually work because it's not actually hooked up correctly. The wires, you know, that red wire is cut off for God knows what reason. It isn't automatic, obviously. I think that was a uh, choice that you got if you wanted it had to be a manual or automatic. It's got around a, almost 200,000 miles on it. It's got 193 on it. Which isn't bad, you know, especially for a truck with this age on it. Most of them you see are well over 200,000 miles. It's got a broken glove box. So that's, <laughs> it's such a pain. And if you get a new glove box, they're so expensive. Like, I don't, and I don't know why. When we got this truck, we had to fix the blower motor for the AC because it didn't work. Down here you've got your cigarette lighters. And when we got this truck, there was a nice little uh, package of THC in here. So it's got your cigarette lighter chargers, which I don't even know if they work, I haven't tried them yet. And then your cigarette lighter, obviously. Let me flip that up. There is no center console to the 95, and I'm not entirely sure why. Anyways, let's go to the back. up the seats. Yeah, the, the doors don't open, but it is the extended cab. Back seats. It's a little cluttery on the seats because no one sits back there. It does have 
some speakers in the back. I think those are speakers, by the way. I think. If they're not, please correct me. It's got some little small tears at the roof, but nothing major. The floor was extremely dirty when we had originally first gotten it, and I took a uh, carpet shampoo to it, and it's way better. I mean, obviously it's a little bit dirty now, just because it's been used a little bit dirty on that side. But it's got the cup holders on this side of the dash. It doesn't have like the airbag. It doesn't have the airbag in it. Like it does have the airbag and then the handle. Which I think is one of the main differences between the 2001 and 1995. <clears throat> it's just this whole side right here is almost completely different. And the door frame, door panels obviously. <laughs> Mechanical windows. I mean I'll turn it on. Let's just turn it on. I can see that they work. And the mechanical windows do work. It's got a treble speaker and then the regular speaker. I don't know why it has a treble speaker. But it doesn't work. This is the only speaker in this whole truck that works. I want to get it fixed. This, um, the handle on the driver's side of the door is actually brand new because we had to buy a new one because it was, it completely had broken off. So you had to either Dukes of Hazard it to get into the truck or open it from the other side, which is fine. Let's go just like a standard rear view, rear view mirror. Nothing at the top, which I think was a feature or a choice that you could do when you were getting the truck. Is that you could have just like the little two lights over here and have it blah blah blah, all that kind of stuff. It does have other cool stuff. <laughs> Anyways, this thing has had to be completely taped to the top. I mean, it's, you can take it off, it's just got Velcro on it, but. Because it would not just stay still, it would get in your face while you're driving. It was very interesting. Also, these two things, if it'll focus, if light will help. There we go. These two things were actually in it when we got the truck. I can, I keep forgetting I can adjust the brightness to whatever I want it to be. Anyways. And here's the... It's got a worn down brake pedal that I can go around. Uh, it's got this cool pen that I don't know why it's in here. I'm just gonna leave the keys right here so I don't accidentally start it or something. I don't know. But this radio compartment does not work if it'll focus for me. Like I said, the buttons are even sticky because they, excuse me, because they haven't been used. Volume, all that stuff doesn't work. But but we do have this, but it wasn't set up correctly. The person who set it up did not even try to do it correctly. Because you turn it on and it's blah blah blah, does, it works, and it, but it doesn't keep time. You turn it off, like, because you know how you can turn your vehicle off and still have the CD play from the track that you left off on. Um, yeah, this, this whole thing turns completely off but I mean you can't use the radio because the antenna is a little bit messed up oh geez sorry about that the antenna is a little bit messed up I don't know what is going on with lighting anyways there we go that's better anyways we had to get a steering wheel cover onto the wheel because it had something sticky on it and couldn't get it off so there's a similar thing to the uh, thing here, but it's not nearly as bad. And it's not too dirty. You know? I haven't cleaned it in, I think, quite some time. Usually I'll clean it about every few months so I can get some extra moony. Anyways, let's go over to the driver's side door and pop the hood.
does have the e-brake anyways down here okay it looks like it didn't want to open so It's got the 5.7 in it. I'm not gonna take that off, but everything works in it fine. I don't even know how old this battery is. I know it's not too old. But it's got, I can't remember where. Down there, I think. Nope, that's not where it is. <laughs> I don't know what. Um, okay, that just fell off. <laughs> but yeah, everything works in it fine. Nothing's wrong with it. It does have a slight, like, uh, shifting issue. But it, other than that, it, everything's fine in it. Nothing is, just, like, super wrong with it. Like I said, it does shift hard. And that's about it. The fuse center. I had some issues getting the hood open. And it, the hood's a little bit messed up, but anyways, let's start it. Sometimes that's another thing that'll happen. If you start it, it'll shut off. So, what do you have to do? Turn the AC off. There we go. That's got a dual exhaust which I love the sound of. Ooh, hear that. Beautiful. Guys, over here. I think it works. So yeah, sometimes you have to shut the AC off before you start it, but... AC works. Like I said, the radio doesn't work, but this thing, like I said, it'll turn off and I'll just say 1 o'clock even though it's not the actual time. It's like 9 o'clock in the morning. But it does work. CD player does work. The radio doesn't work because, like I said, the antenna's a little bit messed up. 193 mile, 193,000 miles on it. Does have lights that do work. I meant to check that, but I for forgot. They do work, though. Unleaded fuel only is the, like, the speedometer's about one mile per hour off, right? one or two miles per hour off, so instead of saying, like, if you're going on Highway 50, say down here, the speed limit is 70, so instead of going, putting your speedometer up to 70, you'll technically be putting your speedometer up to 72, and then you'll be going 70. But it does have the tape player, which like I said, nothing nothing on this side works, and I don't know why. This clock doesn't work. I have, like, this whole, like, setup thing is very similar to the 2001, like my friend has. But uh, it's got some cool rifle racks back there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I wish it did kind of have like the opening doors, but I don't think that that came around till I think 99 or maybe even 2000. I can't remember exactly, but I know that they changed the dash to have that airbag in 99, I think. 98. Or might have been, it might have been the year after this that they started changing it I can't exactly remember I know that they had that little bit of a different dash in the they had a way different dash in the 95 on the half ton also this thing likes to do this I don't know why I don't know why that vent is pushed in so much but yeah quick little tour this does work <laughs> yeah, the parking brake does in fact work, and then you just use it. Stupidly loud, but anyways, 
And like I said, this thing, this door has a huge issue opening and closing. So like, if you want to close it, you have to be Hercules for about five minutes. <laughs> Just trying to get it shut. Yep, see, I didn't even shut all the way. There we go. <laughs> Anyways, that is the tour of my, well, I guess it's not really mine, but of the 1995 Chevy Silverado. It's in green. It's got a slight dent right here, but nothing wrong with the paint other than at the top of the truck and at the hood. Everything else is fine. Their liner is brand new. It was put on it when we got it, I think. Well, like I said, it does have a slight camber issue, which is why this tire is actually pretty good. But the front tires are extremely bad. And then a horse fly. Look at that guy. He's huge. Look at him. And he's pooping. He's gross. Not pooping on the truck. Yeah, that was the tour of the truck. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like. And uh, make sure you guys subscribe and share with your friends. Spread the word about my channel. People are mowing and hitting sticks. But I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.